hi love welcome back in today's class we're making this beautiful granny square men shirt if you are new to the channel my name is miss Ayi, and you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you my love thank you darling thank you sweetheart for always coming back this is a detailed tutorials for my beginners let's get right into class I'll be using this yarn for the project in four colors it's acrylic yarn medium weight and also a 4.5 millimeter hook to begin with you're going to make your slip knots and this is how I make my slip knot and you're going to measure the length of the the top so I'm going to be making my length would be 25 inches so you're going to chain you're going to make a chain that is equal to 25 inches so to make a chain this is your foundation chain you yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through the loop yarn over pull through the loop yarn over pull through the loop so i'm going to make a long chain i made 110 chains and this measures 32 inches i made extra chains so when we start with row one we can end on 26 inches for row one you are going to yarn over and you're going to skip one two, and in the third chain you're going to make a double crochet you have to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all so the chain three the skip chain two count as a double crochet so you're going to put another double crochet in the same space making it three double crochets you are going to yarn over skip two one two and inside the third stitch you're going to make three double crochets yarn over you are going to skip one two and inside the third stitch you are going to make three double crochets and you are going to repeat this double crochet in every third stitch until you have 26 inches or until you have your desired length so I have extra seven chains remaining this is my 26 inches we are not going to be working in the SS yarn left so for row two you are going to chain three one two three turn your work you are going to make three double crochets inside this first space right here so this is one this is two and this is three you are going to yarn over make three double crochets inside the next space one two and three you are going to yarn over make three double crochet in the next space so this is going to be the pattern for row two you're going to be making three double crochets in each spaces until the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of the row at the end of the row you're going to make a double crochet on top of the last double crochet space so at the very top of the, your last double crochet you're going to make a double crochet and this is the end of row two row three you're going to chain three one two three turn your work and we are going to make three double crochet in the very first space
you are going to keep making three double crochet in the spaces in between each stitch two and three work your three double crochet in between each stitch and i'll meet you at the end of the row in your last stitch you are going to put three double crochet in this very space Your work should be looking like this at this point this is how your work should be looking like and and now for row four and five we are going to keep making the same thing we are going to be repeating we are going to be repeating row two and three until we have five rows of the cream so to begin with you are going to chain your three turn your work and you are going to be making double crochets in each space three double crochet sorry in each space until you get to the end of the row so we are going to place our last double crochet and we are going to make an incomplete double crochet because we are going to change our yarn and to change our yarn so you have two here pick your next color our next color is navy blue and we are going to switch and start working with the navy blue so this is how i change color and you're going to tighten this and now you can cut off your timeless cream yarn and you're going to start working with your navy blue yarn so we are going to be making the same thing it's pretty much the same thing so you're going to start with a chain three and turn your work and we are going to be making three double crochets in each space until the end of the row so go ahead and make three double crochets in each space this is one and two and three so keep making your three double crochets in each space just as we were doing and i'll meet you at the end of the row so this is what your your changing should be you should be having something like this this is two so add your last double crochet this is pretty much the pattern if you don't want to change row you're going to be working with your your one color row but you're going to follow the same exact pattern um that we are we are using or if you want to use different colors and also you want to switch up in a different way you are so free to this is how i'll be arranging my colors and the rows so the cream we've already made five cream and navy blue i'm going to make two cream i'll make one ash i'll make one cream i'll make four rows um navy blue i'll go in with one 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 of all the colors until i get my last cream and i'll make my one row so in total i'll have 21 rows in total and this um top fit a size medium to large if um the chest area is big or uh, you want to make for extra large consider making 33 34 rows um, depending on how big or wide you want the top to be if you want it medium then you stick with the 21 rows and if you medium to large right and also if you want it very small in a small then you consider making 19 rows make this row and arrange it like this and i'll meet you when i'm done with my arrangement you don't necessarily have to arrange it the same as i'm doing you can do whatever you want stick to the number of rows that fit your measurements and i'll meet you when i'm done with my 21 rows and we shall continue This is our 21 rows and we are done with one side of the panel so this would be a half of the front panel one side is complete and this is my 21 rows ending on the cream um row so this is what your work should be looking like to make the other side of the front panel you are going to begin by chaining 103 because our excess chain here beginning we made 110 chains and we left off one two three four five six seven so you take um you deduct seven from your 110 chains and you are going to to start the other panel 
for the front part you are going to make 103 chains and after making the 103 chains you are going to start by you are not going to start from this side the, this other side will be a reverse um, of this so you are going to make your 103 chains you are going to start by making your cream your cream will be your row one you go to blue and you would make it in reverse and also when you are done you are going to make your back panel the back panel you don't have to divide it when you get to the cream you are going to make another cream you don't cut your yarn from here I've not cut it so you are going to make your cream when you end on cream make another cream make another blue make um reverse it like that in a full panel to be your back um in a, in a full way to be your back panel so i'm going to chain one or two cut and fasten my yarn and remember with the back panel you're not going to cut off your cream yarn you're going to make an extra one cream it's a reverse so when you get to this point know that you are repeating these rules to make the second part of the front the front panel you're going to make a slip stitch and you're going to chain 103 chains and also this depends on the length of your top if you want it short please consider making a shorter row and if you want it the same as I'm making then consider making 103 which is 26 inches and if you want it more longer than mine please feel free to do so at this point the foundation change only depend on how you want your top to be so I'm going to chain 103 and I'll meet you when I'm done with my 103 chains I'm done with my 103 chains and now you are going to yarn over, skip one, two and make three double crochet in the third stitch. Sorry, make two double crochets because the chain, the skip chain counts as a double crochet. So yarn over, skip one, two and in the third chain make three double crochets. One. Two and three yarn over skip one two and make three double crochet in the third stitch one two three and you are going to keep repeating this until the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of the row so we are going to be attaching our blue yarn and this is how to attach your blue yarn and we are going to chain three two three and we are going to turn our work and work three double crochet in the next stitch inside that very big space we are going to work three double crochet two and three we are going to keep working double crochets three double crochets in each space until the end of the row if you haven't subscribed to the channel my love my darlings my babies please do and if you're a returning subscriber thank you love thank you thank you so much for always coming back And you are going to be working in this space until the end of the row and that is what I was talking about the reverse is the blue the third is the cream and you are going to keep repeating this on this until the end of the row and at the end of the row you should have 21 rows and again when you are making for the back when you get to this point you don't have to cut your yarn keep working you don't have to cut your yarn keep working your cream yarn blue just continue but in a reverse manner until the end of the row so I'll go ahead and make my other front panel and chain 103 and make my complete back panel that is the full back panel and I would meet you when I'm done with this three panel we are done with the back panel and this is what your work should be looking like and this is the two front panels this is the two front panel
we are going to be attaching um, your panels together so go ahead and arrange your panels and this is what I have so now what we're going to do is to attach our panels I'm going to be attaching with the cream yarn since it's the major color I'll show they are straight together and as I said I'm not going to cut off the yarn I'm going to work as we go so first you're going to attach your yarn pass your hook through both panel I'm trying as much to work as we go and work your three double crochets one two and three into this very space you are going to work three double crochets so one two and three we don't make a chain we go right inside the right inside this very stitch we are going to make three double crochet so we are going to be alternating working on the chain three spaces three double crochet for the back panel and then you come to the front panel and repeat three double crochet three three so that is how we would be alternating to connect our work This is what your work should be looking like if you're doing everything right this is what your work should be looking like so keep alternating if you don't feel good about the yarn you passing it over carrying it on um, please cut and fasten your yarn and yeah just keep repeating three double crochets and I'll meet you when I'm done connecting the last part so on to the last stage we are going to make a single crochet to connect this and this is what your work should be looking like after that I'm going to sew in I'm going to cut this and I'll show you so now to connect our other side of the panel we are not going to cut our yarn we are just going to connect our other side of it we are going to start with a single crochet inside the next stitch I don't want piece so make your single crochet or slip stitch to connect so insert your yarn and slip stitch or make a single crochet to connect the next panel and you're going to yarn over into the next available space oh god so this is the next available space we are going to this is the next available space we are going to make our three double crochet inside that very space, very level space. One, two, and three. Yeah, and you are going to yarn over, and inside this space, you are going to put three double crochets. One, two and three and you are going to keep alternating these three double crochets so you are going to put your next one here and we are going to be doing as we did for this side of our work right so we are going to be alternating this until the end of the row at the end of the row you are going to chain one and Cut and fasten your yarn. Yeah. 
to make the arm hole so you should be having something like this don't worry about this again we are going to do work as you go but if you don't want to work as you go what you are going to do is to cut and then when you cut you can fasten your yarn like this so you would have a slip knot and the chains so if you get any excess chain just cut it and pull it up it will turn into a knot and that is it so to make your armhole we are going to leave nine inches for our armhole so measure nine inches for the armhole and we are going to put our stitch marker we are going to be attaching this pass together and whatever method that we are going to use here is the same as we are going to use at the other side of the work so inside this very first space we are going to make three double crochets one two sorry two and three so after your three double crochet inside this very space we are going to make a single crochet so place a single crochet and you come back again with your three double crochets place a single crochet in this very next space make your three double crochets in this space One, two, three. make a single crochet go crochet three double crochet single crochet three in each space until you get to where the stitch marker is and into our very last Space, you are going to pull, make a slip stitch and ten, take your stitch marker turn your work and to work in round we have to slip stitch to the center so you're going to slip stitch your work again to the center and you should be having something like this one two and three and you are going to place your first three double crochet inside of the space one two and three and you are going to keep putting three double crochet inside these spaces all around and when you get to this point i'll meet you inside the middle you are going to make three double crochet so this is one two and three And keep working your double crochets your three double crochets in each stitch until you get to where we started from at the end of the row you are going to make your slip stitch so this is the end of the row yeah and we are going to make a slip stitch on top of this chain three space so you're going to make your slip stitch and this is row one completed now to make row two which is our ash yarn we are going to be connecting the ash yarn like this we're going to pull the cream to tighten it and we are going to cut the cream here now we are going to start working with the ash yarn to begin your row you would have to chain one two and three and you would work three double crochet in each stitch all around so to begin with we are going to make three double crochet in this very first stitch but the chain three counts as a double crochet so we are only going to make two double crochets one and two and moving forward we are going to be working three double crochets in each space all around until the end of the row so at the end of the row you are going to slip stitch your work 
like that and you're going to cut and join your next color and you're going to keep working in each space when you get to this space make sure you work your three double crochets so keep working your rows and i'll meet you when i'm done with my complete um oh with the colors this is how i'm going to be alternating them so this is your first cream color and you go with your gray color one so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine so do up until the green color and i'll meet you and this is i'm done with the first part of the our sleeve so get up until this point then we work this and then the ending point I'm at the last row and this is how your work should be looking like now we are going to attach our navy blue yarn and you attach your navy blue yarn as we've been doing before but with this next row we are going to be working double crochets in each stitch and we would be this is not a stitch but let me show you how to do so first off you will chain two work double crochet in the first stitch you're going to work double crochet in this the next stitch work double crochet in this next because this side is open we are going to make a double crochet um decrease so we set our hook you don't pull through so you have two loops on your hook yarn over and inside the very next one you would complete your double crochet so you wouldn't have to be missing that space so let's go again work your double crochet in the next stitch work a decrease right work a double crochet in the next stitch work your decrease make your double crochet in the next stitch like your at the end you're going to slip stitch your the yarn at the top you're going to slip stitch and cut touch it and pull and we are going to be making single crochets chain one and make single crochets in each stitch until the end of the row at the end of the row you are going to slip stitch on top of your chain one space chain one and now we are not going to be working inside out we are going to put single crochet in each stitch outside from the wrong side so you're going to put single crochets in each stitch and when you get to the very beginning you are going to slip at the end of the row you are going to slip stitch chain one or two cut and fasten your yarn with the sleeve you're going to measure seven inches on both sides and you're going to put your stitch marker so we are going to start working on the collar of our top and now you're going to attach your yarn and you are going to chain one two three and inside the same space you're going to put two double crochet making it three And you're going to put three double crochet in each of these spaces all down up until where the other stitch marker space is so you're going to take the hook and um, your stitch marker off and you're going to make three double crochet in that last space so this is one two and three now you're going to chain three and turn your work We are going to be making three double crochet in each space until you get to this point at the end of the row you are going to make a double crochet at this very space and you are going to chain three turn your work and you are going to be placing three double crochet in each space so this is chain three count as a double crochet so put two more making it three put three double crochets in each stitch until you get to the ending part and we will change our yarn and you keep making the same exact thing so when you change your color you are you will chain three one two three 
turn your work and keep working three double crochet in each stitch so this is my row one two three i'm going to make seven rows and i'll meet you at the end of my row so i'm going to be changing colors i um, switching between the cream the blue and the gray and the navy blue let and fasten it here you're going to chain one cut and fasten your yarn so i made one two three four five six seven seven rows and this is how the neck it's looking like this is how the neck is so moving to the bottom side of the work secure the loose ends by tying two together just tying it and cutting and you cut now we are going to be working we are going to be working the same pattern around the bodice of our top so attach your yarn at this part of your work And you are going to chain three one two three and you are going to make three double crochet in the this spaces so we are going to be working in that spaces three double crochets to close off our border so this is one two three so you are going to repeat three double crochets in the border until we get to the other side of the work we get to the end when you get to the end you are going to make your last double crochet just make a last double crochet and now you're going to chain one and we are going to work single crochets in each stitches in each stitch here right to the collar so this is will be our last border of the work so work single crochet all around until you get to this other side of the work single crochet around all the border so one this double crochet will get two single crochet work one single crochet here where we skipped the two chains you're going to work two single crochet one single crochet two single crochets one single crochet two single crochets at the end of the row you are going to chain one or two cut and fasten your yarn and now you are going to sew in all loose ends uh, you are going to sew in all loose ends and make sure your work is neat so I'll go ahead and sew in all my loose ends and I'll meet you when I'm done with um, when I'm done sewing in all loose ends and I'll meet you so this is what your work should be looking this is what your work should be looking like now if you've made it up until the end of this video, my love, my sweetheart, my darling, my baby, thank you so much. Until we meet next week, is bye-bye. Stay hydrated. Bye-bye.